Welcome to Date with Danu, right here on High TV, your luxury channel. Today, we are going to be speaking about theatre, performance and so much more because uh, it has been quite some time since the theatre world was active and right now it's picking up again. Let's speak more about it as we move on with the show. Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Manuk. And we are here to go on a date with Danu. So we are staging our show, Cold Theatre 7 is staging uh, the dec a decade of classics on the 3rd and 4th of November. And we are here to talk about it. It's basically a celebration of uh, the decade of uh, musical and dramatic stuff that we've done on stage. Um, and we are going to show, uh, showcase a few excerpts from the productions that we've uh, produced in the past 10 years. And we are here to talk about it on Danu's show. In fact, Danu has been a part of one of those productions as well, Kevin. Why do you take him on? He's tall, he's big, he's loud. He's loud indeed, yes. And he's a nice guy. Uh, went to the wrong school, but he's alright. He, he can sing a bit as well, so yeah. He made a perfect, uh, it was a perfect um, um, fit, what a fit, fit uh, to be part of that production. And welcome to a special edition of Date with Danu. I'm speaking about theatre and these four people have contributed so much towards theatre and they have also a show coming up uh, in another few days time. So I thought it's good that we speak about Sri Lankan theatre, the English theatre version of it because uh, they represent that. Uh, with me from Cole Theatre 7, I need to figure out why it's cold, that I'll get to it very soon. Uh, from there I have Vazam, then I have Kavita, and then I have Anuk, then I have uh, Kevin, who is extremely excited to be here. Uh, Kevin, so you sort of uh, uh, head the team a little bit in terms of? Um, y yeah, if you can call it that. Um, yeah. So I head, head as in I'm the artistic director of Cold Theatre 7 and uh, I have a strong team. So every time I do a production, uh, they I'm help. happy and glad that, you know, the team uh, the team rallies around me, uh, comes together to put it, uh, put on the show. Are you scared of any one of these people who are next to you? Scared? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, not at all, but <laughs> maybe right now I don't know what they've got uh, in their pockets or sleeve <laughs> under their sleeves to, you know, roast me. But uh, no, no, no. Uh, it, it's been a pleasure to, uh, you know, work with them. I've been working with them for the past 10 years. Uh, it's always a pleasure to work with this team. So it's a milestone here. I have to ask you, Cold Theatre 7, describe the meaning behind this name. Shall I go ahead? Mm. Um, okay, so we, we, we've tried many a times to explain this to people when this question has been asked. Um, so there are three components to this name. Uh, I'll start with the second, the word theatre. So when Kevin decided to start this theatre troupe 10 years ago, he, th he said that... I was you know, feeling cold. Sorry? Uh, no, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so at that time he said, you know, many theatre troops in Sri Lanka don't have the name theatre in their names. Right. So I want to have the word theatre in our, in our theatre troops name. Yeah. So that's how theatre came into the, as a second name. Um, seven is essentially because seven has had a um, huge say in Kevin's life. I can't remember exactly now, but seven, there are seven people who have influenced him over the, over the years. Seven vibes. Uh, possibly. I don't know about yeah. that. Possibly. Past uh, lives. <laughs> 
<laughs> maybe 77 girlfriends, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was actually seven people who came together to form the theatre troupe 10 years ago. So that itself also came into the name. Right. Cold, in fact, is an abbreviation, C-O-L-D. Um, Isn't that how you normally spell cold? As in, yeah, yes. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it does, it, it's not about the temperature, but ah, it's right. essentially an abbreviation which stands for cream of the last decade. Um, so when Kevin came up with this name, <laughs> I know it sounds a bit odd, <laughs> but that, that's, that's, that's why we've always had to have some difficulty in explaining what this name really means. Um, so essentially what he wanted to do, uh, say was... What cream are we talking about <laughs> here? You know, like the creme de la creme, that sort right. of cream. Um, you know, because when he was growing up, uh, so he looked up at people during that time who were performing and he was in awe of them. And, and you were using cream? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of cream over here, <laughs> not but I'm not sure whether it's... And he, as you can see, he, he doesn't like anyone coming near his... Uh <laughs> Have you set your hair? Of course it's set, <laughs> Sorry. but not as much as, not as, much as <laughs> your one, <laughs> not as good as yours, Zidaru, but... Uh, okay, so just to add to that, uh -huh. right? I, see, when I started off Cold Theatre 7, uh, it wasn't just a show that I was going to uh, showcase. I thought, you know, maybe in 15 or 20 years down the line, if we get somewhere, then I wanted to remember the roots of where I started. Right. Um, and I started off with a certain number of individuals, who I worked with at St. Joseph's mm. at that time. Uh, so they are the seven people who came together and pushed me to do this, uh, right. to you know start the start theatre. So but you're not like an actor, you are a director. I am, uh, yes, I, I, I spend a lot of time directing, yes. But you have acted. I have acted, I've acted, uh, I started off acting at uh, in school. You liked it as much as your dire uh, direction? I love acting, it's just that, um, with me directing, I can't, uh, well, that takes my, you know, it takes time itself. So I can't invest more time acting for any other theatre company, unfortunately. But I've acted before. I act, uh, acted even with Vazam. I enjoyed that role. Vazam, is he a better actor or a director? Uh, <laughs> 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 no, he's definitely a very good actor. Because, right. um, I mean, I've, I've uh, acted with so many people um, side by side, but, you know, that that one time we managed to act side by side together and we were playing two main roles. It was actually quite a pleasure and it was very easy to work with him. And uh, as a director also, he's quite an easy director. Yeah, to calm. Work with. Yeah, 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 calm, calm. Yeah. But I had to add just one thing, right? Because you asked him earlier, um, is he afraid of any of us? Yeah. Actually, I don't think none of us are afraid of Kevin. Uh -huh. <laughs> but if you look at the people here, I used to be a little scared of Kavita. Yeah. She, she has that like right? teacher look. Teacher look, yes. yeah. I'm still scared of Anuk. Because <laughs> <laughs> when you take the whole cold scenario, he's like the. He's the cold, cold guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're metane hina, you know, but usually. There's something yeah, plotting. Yeah, yeah. He's hard, like that. Very hard to smile out of him. <laughs> There's a plot that is being created. All right, so. Um, Bazam is into advertising. Uh, does it help? Are you able to like find sponsors for the plays? No, no, no. I mean, I <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like I haven't helped him out. With that. I have. Uh, but if you want to bring advertising into it, what I can tell you is theatre definitely helps a lot in that field because definitely. we are in the creative industry, yeah. right? And most of the creativity we started to learn, we, st we got our background from here and then we can even apply what we learn here to what into, we do into work. Definitely. All right, we're going to come back and speak to Kavita. Um, I, I don't know whether you remember recalling uh, she reading news like prime time on MTV. There was a time. We'll speak more about it, of course, when we do come back. It's time to play Tab and Go. Thank you to our friends at MasterCard. Now shopping is so much more fun because you just need to tap and go it's simple as that thank you for making this segment possible and our friends here will walk away with a gift from mastercard which is seated right next to me i had to put the little card here they have a nice message and all for you anyway this is how the game works uh if you know the answer tap and then answer the person who taps first gets a chance to answer if you do get it wrong then somebody else can answer then whoever has the highest amount of points will win the gift ready Where did sushi originate? Oh, okay. 
Who tapped first? You? I think it was Kavita. Uh, Kavita. Really, was it? Okay. Japan. Wrong. <laughs> I can give options. Yes, please. Yes, please. Japan, <laughs> Taiwan, <laughs> Singapore, China. Taiwan. I'll go with China. Yeah, it's not a winner. Only the first two will get a chance. <laughs> China is the correct answer. <laughs> Which country drinks the most coffee? Italy, Sweden, Greece, Finland. Okay, Anuk. Italy. Wrong. Sweden? Wrong. Oh, oh no. It's Finland. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good head start. <laughs> Which Disney movie has had the most sequel? Little Mermaid, The Lion King, Tarzan. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> but I tapped. Ah, tell. <laughs> Lion King. Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the <this> last one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you should have waited for that. We are doing very well, aren't we? <laughs> very good. In the traditional rhyme, how many mice were blind? Three. She didn't tap. <laughs> she tapped and said all together. <laughs> I think you all knew that. Yeah. <laughs> whose face was said to have... Whose face was said to have launched thousand ships? Helen of Troy. Game over. <laughs> Kavitha, you are the lucky winner. Yeah, at least you got two right. Buzz, I'm going to be bothered. <laughs> if I just, just move on with this. Uh, thank you, Mastercard, for being a part of the show. We're getting into a break. We'll see you on the other side. So, 10 years in theatre. Uh, theatre does not pay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but when you're in theatre, you tend to spend a lot, like going for rehearsal, then eating after rehearsals, then trying to buy this T-shirt that they expect you to wear. <laughs> you buy like, more? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> because you all never have the size for me. Last time I bought it, was like a hat. -ter. Anyway, so, <laughs> so I'm rejecting it, unless you all find the right T-shirt size for me. Now, tell me, why are you all in theatre in Sri Lanka? Ooh. Anyone can answer, then I'll get to Kavita. Okay, I'll wait. Because theatre has given us so much. Uh, for me personally, it has given me a lot of confidence. I used to be a shy boy, I still am. Uh, it gave me confidence to speak in front of uh, an audience, um, to take away my stage fright. So I, think I, I just loved it when I entered into theatre many years ago. I, I, I just wanted to be a part of it, whether it paid or not. So that's why I always come back to do theatre. It has not paid, you know? Well, once in a while, uh, Kevin uh, has, uh, at, at, in some ways, he tries to reimburse some expenses. Oh, really? If, that if never happened to me. Sponsors, provided we find <laughs> sponsors. You were, so you, were in a, you were in a cast that had about 70, 70 people. people. <laughs> so you couldn't... <laughs> <laughs> I would have to sell myself. <laughs> <laughs> What's the weight like? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not like we don't want to, right? I think yeah, a lot know, of theatre companies would like to do that or of get course. to that stage. But uh, a lot of things needs to align um, from from sponsors to a lot of things needs to I come know. into play uh, for us to even attempt to And uh, also to do doing that. this is actually as much as there's so much of love in it. It's also a lot of there are a lot of challenges, it's a headache at times, you have to coordinate a lot of things and people don't make life easy as well. Uh, <laughs> no, it is not easy, it's always challenging, but uh, like, uh, for example, we are here for a lot of reasons. Like, for example, Anuk said it, it gave him confidence and uh, that's one of the reasons why he, he's there, you know, to give it back. Uh, Bazam said before that, uh, you know, theatre help, helped him in, in, advertising. Via, in advertising and it helped me to be where I am. So during the day, I work in an international bank. At night, I'm an artistic director of Cold Theatre 7. So me, doing theatre helped me in my organisation as well. Uh, so it has helped us in a lot of ways. I look at it in three phases for me now. First phase, I, I started off because of the love of theatre. That's where I thought I belonged or I belong. Second phase was, you know, 
it, it was an escape from the corporate world. There's a lot of work going on there, so you know you just wanted to unwind. Uh, right now, I think I'm in my third phase where you know I've got a lot from theatre, uh, experience, exposure, people, people. So what am I going to do with it? He didn't say that. Just say. Um, uh, um, you know, keeping it to myself. So I, I guess this phase for me right now is to give it back to the society, give it back to the community train the kids to take it forward uh, because I don't think we can go on for a very long time. No, not that anyone's <laughs> going to retire or this thing, but we're all tired. <laughs> and uh, I think it's the next generation that needs to take theatre in Sri Lanka to the next level and we should do a bit. Uh, Okay, but uh, nobody agreed on the retiring part. So. <laughs> <laughs> or they, they were looking at you like, okay, fine. Then. <laughs> uh, so Kavitha was uh, an anchor on the news uh, for some time. Uh, so how I met Kavitha was I first heard a voice, true story. Uh, and she was reading an afternoon bulletin or something. It's like, who is this girl? Aww. She was so good. And I called the person who was in charge. I was like, Why, whoever this person is needs to be reading prime time, like on TV. Um, Next Sunday, she was on screen. And it was just so good. So that was the start to me knowing Kavitha. But later on, how did you end up here? Ooh, okay. And why are you threatening Vazam with your looks? I don't know. I'm like, <laughs> I should work on my face. I have been nothing but nice to her. That <laughs> That's hard to believe. But yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so where do I begin? Um, I'll touch a little bit also on what you asked earlier about the... Just first answer the question Of I course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> it's time uh, to just dump it <laughs> everything. Um, I think for me what happened was, um, incidentally, it was the news that introduced me to Anuk as well. Oh, right. Um, okay. Through a different media company. And uh, he one day said, oh, you know what, there's this uh, audition that's happening. Would you like to be part of it? Um, and uh, Anuk, I think, before that spoke to me, maybe f about five words Correct. prior to that. Uh, I told you, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm very shy. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I still don't get five words. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this was a, like a win for me in the fact that he had he actually, so it was a sentence. So you had a thing for Anuk? <laughs> you wanted him to talk to you? Or? I actually wanted him to, like, it was a full sentence, so I felt like very honoured at that moment. Right. Um, so and he told me, okay, there's this guy called Kevin, and I was like, yeah, okay, Anuk, great. I was just like, but don't you, know? you feel like she has liked Anuk at one point? Uh, did, uh, I mean, the fact, I that she's, the fact that she's thinking, <laughs> thinking. Yeah. Uh, I, I have never, like possibly, <laughs> I've never sat and wanted Anuk to speak to me. <laughs> so, oh my, whoa! <laughs> Swiftly moving yeah. forward. That's a discovery. Um, so, uh, yeah, and then I just showed up. It was at one of the fellow cast members' houses. Um, I think there were a grand total of three females. Mm, uh, and like <laughs> you liked it that way. <laughs> Nothing to do with me. Nothing to it do with It was the script Kevin, and a female wrote the script. Mm, uh, yes. Was this small strap? This was, and then there were none. Um, yeah, and fast forward ten years later, I actually wrote the... Um, the blurb for the souvenir that's coming up and then I counted it. This will be my seventh appearance on stage with Cold Theatre 7. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So, seven is the number. Nothing happened with Anuk. Did he act in the same play with you? Uh, we have always acted together. <laughs> so many different <laughs> productions. And we're yeah. sitting next to each other that's and it oh my really gosh. Grown. Yeah. <laughs> Azam, you're really doing something wrong with this combination. Here. <laughs> Clearly something is not working. Uh, Bazam was always a star actor at St. Peter's College because he really needed to add some colour and like show quality to the Josephian, so he's here to add that. Uh, he was phenomenal in his uh, performances and I was really sad that you have not done enough theatre as much as you should be, I think, uh, because you're too talented. But uh, time. Yeah, th I mean, thank you. That's that's very nice of you to say. No, but it's the truth. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I mean, you're right. I mean, uh, this show is actually when I'm getting on stage after five years. Uh, oh, you're also on stage. It's not special, no, minute. Everyone is acting. <laughs> there's about 100 people anymore, on right? this show, I think. <laughs> huh? That there's is about 100 people in this show. <laughs> like, everyone is there. Like, I, with, uh, <laughs> I like my own time. It's okay, I'll continue. <laughs> yeah, um, so, I mean, the last time I was with, uh, acting also was with them, and... Um, I have to be kind of grateful to Cold Theatre 7. I, I, I need to, can, can I take a moment to just tell you how yeah, I got yeah, into Cold Theatre 7, right? Yeah, you talk. Because um, 
the first time I got in also was I had taken some time off uh, for my studies. I'd taken about two two years, and I really wanted badly wanted to get on stage. So I was asking around, is anything happening? Mm. Right, and then someone just suddenly said, you know, this Kevin is doing some play. I was like, who is this Kevin? Kevin Cruz. Who's Kevin Cruz? Photographer, no. So <laughs> I was trying to figure out who who Kevin Cruz was. Kevin, I'm so sorry. This is that Josephian guy who does, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that. you know, St. Joseph's Shakespeare and all that. Ah, okay, so then I, I, you know, sent him a message on uh, Facebook and I said, I heard you're doing a play. Can I come and audition? At that point, I just wanted to get on stage, yeah. right? Because after break and all, I didn't even mind being a tree in yeah. the corner. So then I walked in for the rehearsal and to my, I was like, oh my god, I was like, walked into a room full of Josephians. Mm. <laughs> All of them were Josephians. And I was the only Pete, right? And you taught them how it's done. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so I'll take that coming from a Pete, right? <laughs> So yeah, I mean, uh, but I must say that experience is really, really what, cool. As a Pete right walking into a pool full of Thomians? No. Oh, the, the <laughs> acting part of it, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was just happy that I walked into a pool full of Josephians. Yes, <laughs> uh, not Thomians, <laughs> sorry, Josephians. I got excited there. <laughs> <laughs> Josephians. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Josephians. So uh, ever since then, I think uh, it is... To my yeah. surprise, it has been actually quite nice working with the the, the, the Josephians and like probably I'm I'm at the first beat right to get into your crew uh, as an actor. Correct. Yes. Uh, yeah. you're and we've been very good uh, friends, friends since then. I mean, we play badminton every week on you know <laughs> as well. All right. I have a fun segment and it's called Hot Seat. And we have the questions ready. I'm starting this question off with Kevin. Kevin, how would you rank the acting skills of the members you have brought on the show tonight? You can just put one, two, three. <laughs> oh, you want to rank us? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he's nice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> we are all watching you. Uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you give a character, and then I'll rank. Don't because they are they are they are, they are good in their don't their things. Is who will you give first, second, third? To? There are three people here, according to you. <laughs> good, you got to rush there, good. <laughs> <laughs> guys. I'm sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just going to go in order. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> so, just like that. <laughs> okay, so then uh, we'll start from there. One, two, and three. <laughs> Seriously? I so more or, less, uh, more or less, more or less, Kavitha is number two. Kavitha is number two. Yeah, solid. <laughs> right. Well, the other two is, I like cliffhangers, so uh, it's up to everyone else to guess. No, I need to know. I don't need a cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I give you one. Kavita is two. Bazam? Um, Anup, so he has one best actor. Shall we put one there? Why are you asking? Why are you asking? Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so one, two, three, got the answer. Okay, I'm sorry, Anup. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, this is a question for all three of you. Gihan or Dino, who is funnier? Okay, I'll skip this. Anuk, are you okay? Are you asking me first? No, I'm asking all of you, so one of you need to answer at some point. Well, I, I, I would, the, it's again, they have a different and sense of answer favorite. the question. I would say Dino, right. <laughs> um, I love them both very much, Dino. I'll take the beat right side, mother. <laughs> Gihan, he took, he took Dino. Uh, I directed Dino, so yeah, Dino. I'll go with Dino. Since you brought it up, there, Gihan mentioned you at their recent show as well. I heard about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy at least I made it for me to be on a script. <laughs> Shanakudi Alvis, Deva Shri, Dimitri Gunatilaka. Who makes a better lead? In a musical. Musical. Okay. A lead Devashri. in a musical. Devashree. Oh my God. I, yes. 
Fast, please. I love all three of them, but I would go Devashree. I love all three of them. I would say Shanuki. Shanuki. Would you ever do a nude scene on stage if the play requires you to? Not in Sri Lanka, but overseas. If it's a, if it's Why artistic it enough. Here? What's wrong in you showing your booty here? Well, if it's art done artistically, That's I don't I mind. It yeah. requires. Okay, yeah. Yes, Kavita. Definitely not in Sri Lanka. That's what I meant, right? Yeah. It's different here. Not the in Sri Lanka. The audiences are different. They don't. They would appreciate it. They will think of it as you know being very. If I had a killer body, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we didn't talk about having a good body, but <laughs> <laughs> no. Under mood lighting, you won't be seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I told you I still like my color. <laughs> Have you ever had a same sex encounter being in theater? No. No. Nope. I think Kevin will freeze to death. <laughs> <laughs> Feroz Kamardin, Jerome Fernando. Who is more dramatic? Thea Jerome, 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 Jerome Silva. Jerome Silva. Got that wrong? Let's take question number two again. <laughs> no, huh? no, no. Yeah, because then. We will delete the things that we want in the show. <laughs> <laughs> Jerome anyway. Fernando is a different kind of drama. Yes. <laughs> Jerome. <laughs> oh, if that's what you Let's meant. Let's do this again. That's what you meant, actually. <laughs> Feroz Kamardin. Jerome De Silva, who's more dramatic theatri theatrically? Jerome. 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 Jehan Aloysius, Jehan Bastians. Whose play would you rather sit and watch and why? Aloysius. Uh, Aloysius. Definitely Aloysius. Jehan Aloysius. Thank you. Uh, congratulations. I think uh, none of you have played really well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 Actually, yeah, it was fast. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Come I on. think he, he should get it. Actually, I think you're much better than the others. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get it, sir? Very unsatisfied, but I'll just... You all have a terrible mate to play with. Sorry. Oh, dear. Ah, but remember, you remember, you were not a first choice to be number one in his acting skill. I know, I will keep that in mind. And Kavita, you never even got to I first. I know, I was always in that... Yeah. 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 It was one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, so nothing is changed it rolling? for me. Yes. Oh, it's still rolling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I was genuine. One, two, three, one, two, three. Um, ah, so it was a very difficult one. And you, you could have also said one, two, three. Yeah. No, I didn't have time. No? Oh. You wanted me to be quick. How dare you? How dare you? It's okay, Kevin. Like it's okay. It's okay. So let's get into a break. This is also one of our favorite segments made possible by our friends at Midnight Divas. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, Tavita is very excited, so you can direct anything at her, please. <laughs> so, uh, there are questions. I will start with... Uh, I'll start with Kevin. What's the weirdest thing you have thought about while flying solo? Flying solo? Where? Sexually. <laughs> Uh -huh. I just had to say it. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> the segment is called Kinky. Oh. Cold theater. Cold theater servant. Cold theater servant. What? Oh, my gosh. Kink. Okay, so, now this is why uh, the moment I dreaded the most. <laughs> okay, I'll come it back to you. Oh, no. You think about it, okay? Baza, hmm? what inspires you to make the first move? What inspires me to make the first move? Sexually. <laughs> Generally being horny. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. See? In your opinion, what does it mean to be good in bed? Kavita. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Love this. Um, you have to communicate. Oh. Yes. <laughs> You can't just assume, no? You cannot assume. You have to communicate. So you're a talker. That's annoying. I didn't say yes or no. <laughs> Anu? Yes. Have you ever been blindfolded or handcuffed? No, I don't think so. I can't. No. No. <laughs> Very easy question. <laughs> okay, coming back to you. What's the weirdest thing you've thought of 
about when you're flying solo. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this over with. It's you, Danu. <laughs> Let's get this over with. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm is this a revelation? <laughs> no, <laughs> are, are you calling? Are you calling Danu weird? <laughs> that is huh? what Danu. That are is you what calling Danu weird? <laughs> Let's get call me weird. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Let's get this over with. I'm door. not a weird thing to think of. <laughs> yes. Why? What? <laughs> why? Why? It's open. You can. That's not a nice thing to say. That's not a nice thing to say. <laughs> you, j you just got cancelled, bro. Yeah. Came in. Cancelled. We need to have a chat to you and I. Yeah. Oh, you. Why? He was going to give you the gift and now he's no. not going to give you the gift also. Kavitha, you upset him also. <laughs> Kavitha, it's yours. Thank you, Danu. I'll give it to you later, okay? Okay. There yes. are some self Through communication. Oh. <laughs> anyway, Anup, tell me, what is this show about? I don't know what's happening on the third and fourth. So yes, somebody had I'm this bright idea. Completely like moved on from this <laughs> weird <laughs> guest. Somebody, <laughs> somebody had this bright idea. I think he's sitting a, a few meters away from us. Yeah. Um, I think initially, uh, we, when we formed Cold Theatre 7 back in 2013, our first production was And Then There Were None. We staged it at the British School Auditorium. And Kevin, um, at our 10th year anniversary, he really wanted to stage it once more. Hopefully with the same cast, but unfortunately, uh, some of the cast members have migrated. One cast member is the uh, infamous Dino, so I'm sure he won't be, you know, he's not going to be take part with us again. Um, but um, because he wanted to bring back the show to the Lionel event. Um, uh, then he got involved in some other projects. He was doing his drama workshops. He did a presentation of them very recently, so he couldn't find the time. So he pushed back the show uh, to next year. And then somebody else had the bright idea of doing a showcasing of our previous productions to celebrate our 10th year anniversary. So that's how this show came into being, where we'll be staging a uh, few excerpts, not a few experts, excerpts, but 20-30 uh, minute excerpts of our previous six productions and a bit of a preview of on a show that, that's coming up next year as well. So how many hours is this production, Kevin? Well, we are still rehearsing, so hopefully we should be able to wrap it up in 2.15, two, two and a half hours. Because 20 minutes. They're segments. going to perform 20 minutes out of this. 20, yeah. I don't want to come. <laughs> Why? It's a long time to sit I and wait. There are some that are a bit shorter, though. Yeah. yeah. Can, you, cut, can you trim a little bit? No, but yeah. you That's what we've always seen. You won't feel it going yeah. by because each of the excerpts are short, right? So. Uh -huh. But yes. 20 minutes is not short. Yeah, it goes like that. It goes fast. Because I don't want people to be not there when I'm performing. I'm the last bloody song. They'll be They'll there be for you. They'll be waiting for you. No, yeah. that's what I don't know. Please make sure that they don't leave, lock the doors. <laughs> it's, it's really sad. You know, I don't want like... No, so if you look at the excerpts also, right? And that's I don't want to know. Ah, so, yeah. <laughs> 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 Tell me. Um, so it's, it's like some of the key segments of each excerpt mm. and, uh, and we are celebrating that. And also. what are the plays? Okay, I know. And, and then they have a nun and after that you all have... So and then they have a nun. Won't, we won't be staging mm. it... Uh, in, in this production of ours <laughs> because we, are, we have uh, plans for next year for that but we will be teasing the audience slightly with and then they have a nun. Uh, but we'll be staging the mousetrap, uh, the witness for the prosecution but all mini segments, it's not the entire show, uh, mini segments of all these and, and uh, most of the actors are reprising their roles as well. Uh, so that's very exciting. Um, thankful for all the cast members who have come on board including uh, yourself. Uh, so we have Greece. It's going to keep the audience going. We have Peter Pan again uh, from a showmanship point of view. It will keep the audience going. And uh, we also attempted a comedy, which was uh, not which, funny. Which was quite <laughs> funny actually. <laughs> we couldn't actually get the audience to not laugh. Uh, so or, the going, or the cast. Or the cast on stage. Uh, so we are going to stage a segment from that as well. So. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's pretty exciting because I'm sure we will be able to keep the audience going and make sure that they are there for your segment. You forgot 12 Angry Jurors. 12 Angry Jurors, yeah. So 12 Angry, uh, 12 angry Jurors with an experienced cast. Again, most of them are reprising their roles. So that means you have six women, six men? Yeah, the split More is six, six, yeah, yeah. six, yeah. Okay. You acted in 12 Angry Men, right? No, I did not. I was in Mousetrap and The Opposite Sex. Uh, let's get into a break. We'll see you after. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Right now we have Chaturanga who's seated in the extreme corner. He was the 
creative mind who wanted to do this complicated production. Uh, then we have Isira here, who is also a face that you tend to see on high, on and off. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, let's start off with uh, you. Why did you want to do this? So, uh, long story short, there was a lot happening uh, with Coal Theatre 7 over the past 10 years and I was part of it on and off because I was also working at a and news you company. Also in the, you recruit people who are newscasters. Pattern, <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 So, yeah, wanted to celebrate it in a way that uh, we could get all of the past people who were also involved and obviously I pitched the idea to Kevin and said, you know, there is... Uh, we can do this and mm. he was uh, reluctant at first but now here we are two weeks uh, close to the show so no we are like few days yeah do that again sorry <laughs> <laughs> here we are a few days close to the show and uh, we're all happy to be here are you as happy as he is uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> so you are representing the cost how many productions have you done with uh, Kevin? Ah, um, so far one. Hope to up that number. I started in for Greece itself, 2019, where we met you. Yeah, but then uh, we were very busy because the country was falling apart. Uh, that is mm. true. Yeah. It's on the verge, it's just yeah. starting to. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and well, to this day, actually, I met him during another theatre company's production. On Tinder. Uh, yes, it was <laughs> the musical version of yeah. it. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, he basically took us backstage and gave us a little speech Ooh, and uh, uh. <laughs> and uh, so this is something I like to frequent this story with Kevin. Uh, he basically told us his vision for theatre in Sri Lanka and I realised like we have a lot of aligned ideas in that sort of sense and uh, that's why I wanted to work with him and the following year jumped into Greece. Yeah. Do you feel that the amount you love theatre, theatre loves you back Kevin? Uh, I yes, I think uh, theatre loves me back, and that's the reason why. Uh, see, everyone could have said no to do this because it's not a full show; it's just fifteen-minute segments. Uh, and the only thing I can think of is that you know, in some way or form, whatever energy or stars align, people are people said okay to me. Uh, so to answer to your question, I think yes theatre do loves me uh, and there's some energy that uh, you know that I get out of that as well and that's why they're all here it's a hundred member cast so yes God I'm not getting paid for this as well <laughs> <laughs> 70 hours you're doing me 100 you're never going to give me <laughs> <laughs> so were you able to find uh, funding for this well that's another thing right I said <laughs> just look up God energy stars whatever that needs to align uh, has it aligned um, <laughs> <laughs> well, not yet. You took a loan, I know, that you did something like that once. No, actually for Greece, no, that was actually a very scary moment uh, yeah. because uh, I, didn't, I didn't take a loan. I don't take loans for the productions. I just depend on things to fall into place and, uh, and someone to say okay and sign a check or whatever and depend on ticket sales. But Greece actually, up until the last minute, well, uh, it didn't, as in, it didn't work out the way I felt it would, uh, you know, would be nice to work out. But uh, no, I didn't take a loan. I was about to sell my vehicle at that point. Ah, yes, you were trying to do something. <laughs> like it was a competition between the kidney or the vehicle uh, or something uh, to that nature. Theatre people, <laughs> dramatic. But yeah. then, <laughs> thankfully, the two matinee shows sold out, so I was able to pay the bills. Uh, but that was that was one of the scariest yeah. <laughs> moments. But we were sold out for it, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's why, uh, you know, thankfully the matinee uh, uh, sold out, so. I could, you know, pay the bills. Mm -hmm. So uh, don't take don't don't take that risk. <laughs> <laughs> are you performing in this? Yes, I'm performing in the twelve language chorus this time. Okay, in a couple of days. So again, uh, to add to what just to add to what Kevin said, it's always. I think there is in terms of theatre in Sri Lanka, even though a lot of people like to come and watch and people like to support when it comes to attracting sponsors, I'm sure you know this uh, more than I do, it's a bit difficult because it's a limited number of people who come. So I think opportunities like this will also help to encourage people who are out there to maybe sponsor and, and be a part of these events because they go a long way as, as the two gentlemen who were in the previous segment also spoke about it, they have an impact 
theatre has an impact in what you do in life as well as as you also. Kavita was a newscaster. I was a newscaster, and that helps mm. the learning that we have from uh, the experience that we have. So maybe a, a suggestion to everyone who's out there: if you're able to, and you know, if you have the money. <laughs> Uh, be a part of these as well because these help a lot of people. In or some even way come and watch it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because I, I think, I'm not saying that, you know, we have a huge age gap. Uh, just saying we have very short, uh, very short <laughs> gap. But, you know, when I joined theatre, there was actually a want. People waited for what's mm. next. Mm -hmm. There sort of, there was an audience who won't see the poster. They mm -hmm. would like to go to those common places where we leave it common being the keyword, mm -hmm. and, hey, and hey. pick up the info. <laughs> but uh, during, when you got into theatre, I think you got onto the last bus where there was actually that urge where people came together to watch. Mm. Like, I think after COVID, bringing people back into theatre has been so hard. Mm. Yeah. What, do you feel that? Like, definitely. Uh, the last one, I think one of the last shows just before COVID hit was uh, one that we, I was part of. We came, to, I think, to the second night and then everything shut down and it was just like heartbreaking mm. and that thirst for theatre just kept on persisting for the <laughs> next four years and I think a lot of theatre companies within the year of 2023 recently opened up they all started doing productions and it's getting back into the groove now it's still missing a beat mm. but people are starting to get back onto that frequency because I feel like it's just like you know how radio lost a huge market share mm. you know people just started a new lifestyle right. you know, they were not driving in the morning yeah. so then what you do you mm. you can't just you know people don't have the urge to listen to something yeah. so it's just like that look i feel like people have moved away from this culture of making right. it a date to go and see it do you think it will change definitely uh, from what i've seen in the past uh, few weeks or so from other productions there are people who want it mm. and uh, there are people who are willing to pay as many uh, as, as any amount possible to come and watch a show like uh, this as well and I'm pretty sure you'll be hooked on Core Theatre 7 after this production too because there is a little I'd say Easter egg uh, that Kevin won't open up about but uh, there is an Easter egg so I think they should definitely. The play is called Easter? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's called egg. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? It's hatching something. There's ha yeah, that, uh, that, uh, that, that. Yes. Cliffhangers. <laughs> yes, that's his theme now. <laughs> Cliffhangers. Um, <coughs> Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. uh, it was at one time the thing for school mm. yeah. children to like be a part of. Like you act, and you one, one you become famous amongst the school crowd. Number two, like you know, you get to see like see things. Wait, my socks is a bit short, no? Can you see my socks? <laughs> okay, Shakespeare, such a craze for us while we were in school. Yeah. Is it there now? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. gosh, yeah. this Big year? Time. I just directed uh, for this year's Shakespeare oh. at Joseph's yeah. College. And... Uh, <laughs> ah, this one also? Yeah. What, which school were you directing? St. Joseph's College. What were you doing there? A girl called me uncle, so I just... <laughs> <laughs> lost <Yeah. the> <laughs> <laughs> Drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Going through a bit of a crisis. No, while it's exciting Uncle for them, <laughs> I'm just thinking. <laughs> so you were directing a school? No, 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 I wasn't there. So this year, I, well, I couldn't because uh, I was involved with a lot of things doing the decades uh, of cla or the decade of classics. So uh, I simply didn't have the time to uh, take on any schools this time. But no, I'm happy that um, we formed a structure at least at St. Joseph's. So you know, I, we paved the way to people like Chaturanga uh, to take it on. Bazam was here, he directed Peter. So I actually was in the audience this time, enjoying all the shows uh, these guys put on. Uh, and, and it's nice to have Shakespeare back. It, it's back after 2019, I think. Yeah, yeah 2019. the last few Shakespeare's all like on Zoom and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. That's the point. You need to wear terrible makeup and act. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. On camera also? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> like yeah. on stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, to, but to answer the question, I think there is a lot of interest among schools as well. And, and right before we went into the economic crisis and COVID, uh, again, I was part of uh, the direction for different uh, international school as well, an international school chain, where there was a lot of interest there also. A lot of new schools are coming in. And even this time for Shakespeare, there were Yeah, one of the finalists was a novice school. Yeah. Yeah. Both yeah. in, 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 in the, the girls and, and the boys. Oh, right. okay, so yeah. 
there is a lot of uh, interest from the schools and the kids as well, which is a good thing. Yeah. And, 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 and to answer yeah. to one of the questions you asked, you know, will the interest come back? And I think that's where we also come into play uh, as theatre companies. It's not only us. Uh, a lot of theatre companies are doing a lot of stuff, good stuff, and I think they should continue to do that. Only if you continue to do that, will be able to get that culture back. And uh, again, thankful to all the cast members who have, you know, said yes and who are acting in this segment. Uh, because, you know, we should be able to show this to the future generation. They should be able to say this is what it is. Uh, and we need to cre give that dream to them. One day, you know, I'd like to be up on stage with these guys. And I think that's happening um, because something interesting uh, with one of the casts that uh, I worked with this time, um, they, they actually said, this, it was the first time they'd ever stepped on the Lionel Wen stage. So something interesting this time around with Shakespeare Drama Comp was the playing field was levelled. Mm. Everyone was new. New because there was a four-year gap. Ninety-eight percent. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's yeah. true. All right, we have to get into a break. I'm going to say thank you to the two boys who came because I didn't say thanks to them, no. So I'm going to bring them back to say thanks. Yeah. All right. Thank you, you. for being here. And thank you for your brilliant idea. Yeah, in 20 years, you come up with something. Else as well. <laughs> <laughs> All thank right. You. We're getting into a break. We'll see you right after. Welcome back to the show. We have a final segment and we have uh, one more game to play. Yes or no? All right, yes. Yeah, so we have some questions. Be honest and show the correct side of the board. Okay. Here we go. Have you ever been forced to share a bed with someone who you were not romantically involved in? Have you ever imagined your own funeral? Hmm. Have you ever kept a dirty habit from your partner? I want to know what. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're so no. <laughs> Come, come. No, no. What's Personal. That? <laughs> if y'all get the answer, tell ah, me. I know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never <What>? mind. <laughs> tell. You can't lift people no. hanging like that. Cliffhangers. You dig your nose. No, that's all <laughs> <what> I'm <asking. laughs> Have you ever fantasized about kissing your team members? Team <sighs> members? <laughs> Uh, ah, 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 ah. Pass, pass. <laughs> <laughs> that was a yes. <laughs> Are these guys? No, team members. <laughs> like in the cast, no? As in like I don't know. So. All that? Okay, Kevin said yes. Baza? No, what's the context? Back in the past. Is it here okay, or in like uh, Let's cast? say here. Here? Here. No. Is okay, at office? At work? Uh. Yes. <laughs> so now, what about them? They said no. We said oh, no. They said no. Yeah. Oh. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Right. If you were single, would you consider sleeping with an elderly person if promises were made? Like an apartment at all. Yes, and also you can do theatre without any problem, Kevin. Right. <laughs> That's uh, why I still have one look in the team. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever used a pickup line? <laughs> Are you optimistic? Do you believe that there is good in everyone? Do you believe it's important to be yourself? Well done. Congratulations. Good answers, everyone. But I'm, you have opened my brain to something new about you, Kevin. You are a man with a lot of stories. <laughs> you have fantasies, you have... Dirty habits. Dirty habits. Yeah. And secrets, which is quite uh, interesting. Uh, Wazam, how is the advertising field going these days, especially considering the fact that budgets are trimmed? Trimmed so much, like there's <laughs> nothing to like find. Uh, how it's going? Well, short answer, everyone's struggling. Yeah. Right? Uh, I, I think the entire industry is trying to make ends meet, I'll be very honest with you, especially because uh, a lot of companies have gone into prioritization in terms of where they need to spend. 
and they've been cautious for a while. Mm. So yeah. And how have you been managing to pull through? Well, always coming up with new ideas. And uh, because it's very easy to inspire people to pull their wallet out when they know there's a great idea that can be worked with. Mm. And also, you became a CEO at a very young age. Mm. Did you feel it was like a, a burden? Was it too much on you or were you happy about it? It was definitely a challenge uh, because I was young and then there were, I had to deal with people who were older than me as well. Um, burden to an extent, yes, but uh, I think I've managed to pull through it. Anuk, uh, you're, you're, you say you're an introvert. How are you when you get on stage? Like, I, I think the, the word that you, I can explain myself is ambivert because I'm an introvert among people. But when I get on stage, uh, I'm more extroverted because for me, it's always making that, um, making conversation. I find it very difficult. But I, I guess that I'm, uh, um, at ease on stage is probably because of the words that have been printed by somebody else. I'm speaking somebody else's words um, right. in my own interpretation, of course, but I think that gives me confidence. I, 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 it's, it may sound a bit weird, but I always find as a person to, uh, since Kavit also mentioned that I only spoke five words with her, it's because I, I find it very difficult to just say that first line with people. For those five words, Kavita ended up joining a theatre yes. play. And he's still with us also. You have such an impact. Is it the head, Kavita? The light that reflects <laughs> off it. <laughs> <laughs> right there. All right, we need to say goodbye on the show. Just to let you know, Cold Theatre 7 celebrates their 10th year in theatre and they are going to put up an interesting show celebrating all, all the plays, musicals that they have done. It's all going down on the 3rd and 4th at the Lionel Wind, correct? Correct. Yes. Tickets are available where? We'll be at the Lionel Wynn Theatre uh, next week, hopefully. No, don't oh, say sorry, next, next week. week. Sorry, in a few days. They are at the no. Lionel Wynn. They are. Yeah. Tickets are available where? They are at the Lionel Wynn Theatre. All right. Uh, do buy your tickets, go support. Uh, I know it might be too much these days to sort of, you know, keep aside funds for things. But come on, it'll be, it's good to be entertained. And that's the greatest part. And think of it, he has been very strategic. He, got 100 of us to be on stage so that means 100 into 2 at least we have we have a good set of audience coming up you're like those school theater people in what like way? they put like a tree a plant yes a <laughs> snail in front and all that <laughs> the lead players are playing non-stop these ones are <laughs> only thing is that there won't be any <laughs> trees plants or rocks <laughs> No, it's <laughs> quite strenuous to get everyone you know trained to dance to and there is this whatsapp group <laughs> I've given up on it. The easiest way of communication. Yeah, but it's like, like so someone, someone much. You have you have one WhatsApp group. No, no, no. This particular. No, one. no. With him. Yeah. For this, we have about <laughs> ten. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> on that note, please do help them be sane by buying a ticket and being there. Uh, we will see you soon. I'm really happy theatre is opening up again. So do support. Keep the art going because it's always nice to have young people coming forward and exp experimenting talent. That's the most important thing. Thank you for being on the show. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> on that note, we wrap things up. Thank you so very much for being with us on the show. Until we see you again, keep smiling. I got chills, they're multiplying. And I'm losing control. Because the power you're supplying, it's electrifying. <laughs> you better shape up. Cause I need a man And my heart is set on you You better shape up You better understand To my heart I must be true Nothing left, nothing left for me to do You're the one that I want You are the one I want Do, 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 honey The one that I want You are the one I want Do, 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 honey The one that I want you are the one I want, do, 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 you are what I need, oh yes indeed.